Good morning. Please remain standing while I invite Lauren Ward to sing our national anthem. Our home and native land, true patriot love, and all thy sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true nor strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on God for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on God. Our home and native land, true patriot love, and all thy sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true nor strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on God for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on God. On God for and one of the owner's friends wanted to send the owner some flowers for the occasion. They arrived at the new business site and the owner read the card. It said, rest in peace. The owner was angry. He called the florist and he said, how can you send me a, a bunch of flowers with uh, the title rest in peace? The florist realized there was a mistake. He said, I'm really sorry for the mistake. But rather than getting angry, you should imagine this. Somewhere there's a funeral taking place, and they have flowers with a note saying, congratulations on your new location. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, warm welcome. This is going to be a, a lovely convocation, exciting day for our graduates as they get their degrees. Here at Waterloo, each convocation is a celebration of the achievements of our graduates. And this morning, we celebrate with those graduates in the Faculty of Mathematics. On behalf of the Board of Governors and the Senate of the University, I would like to express congratulations and best wishes to all who will graduate this morning. Please savor every minute of today's ceremony and the celebrations that will follow with your circle of family and friends. Today is a rite of passage, passage to an exciting future where you can apply knowledge, share your expertise, and continue learning. <clears throat> I also welcome the families and guests of the graduating students. Your presence today is a tangible demonstration of your support and commitment to their success. We will begin with conferring of an honorary degree on an individual who has distinguished himself in the academy. We will then confer bachelor's, master's, doctoral degrees. Finally, an award will be presented to a distinguished faculty member 
and a medal will be awarded to an alumnus. The proceedings will take less than two hours and we ask that you remain in your places until convocation is adjourned and the academic procession has left the convocation hall. This ceremony today will blend age-old university rights and protocols with a spirit of informality that characterizes Waterloo. We trust that it will be an occasion to enjoy and an occasion to remember. I offer you my congratulations, and as you move from Waterloo, I challenge you, take risks, be unconventional, but do not forget that honesty, integrity, and strength of character should be the driving force in all that you do. As an aside, when I was your age, I was introduced to a book by Napoleon Hill. The name of the book was Think and Grow Rich, a wonderful book that studied success stories of businessmen, doctors, politicians, scientists, and others. The book analyzed the principles behind their success and explained it in very simple terms, concluding finally with the line, what the mind can conceive, the mind can achieve. What the mind can conceive, the mind can achieve. So one day, when finally you've made your mark in this world, make sure that you give back to others less fortunate. After all, every one of us has benefited from the wisdom, advice, generosity of all those who have helped you in your careers. So let me just end then with a Chinese proverb. And the proverb goes something like this. If you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. But if you want happiness for a lifetime, go help somebody. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to this convocation. The convocation will now begin. Thank you. I will now invite Alexandru Nika, Professor, Department of Pure Mathematics, to the podium. Alexandru. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Chancellor, I present Dan Virgil Voiculescu. Professor Voiculescu is one of the world's most eminent scholars in the fields of operator theory and operator algebras, two important areas of modern mathematics. He is currently professor of mathematics at the University of California, Berkeley, and he received his education in Romania, where he received his PhD from the University of Bucharest in 1977. From the very beginning of his career, Voiculescu was well known for solving hard, open problems that were the center of attention in his research areas. Two famous samples of his early work, which are now standard textbook material, are the Weil von Neumann type theorem from 1976 and the Pimsner Voiculescu K theory exact sequence found with his student Mihai Pimsner in 1980. Uh, more than being a problem solver, he is also the creator of free probability theory, an important new direction of research in mathematics that has developed a life of its own in the 30 years since its inception. Uh, Voiculescu's seminal work has been amply recognized by fellowships and awards. He was a Guggenheim Fellow in 1997 and a senior scholar of the Clay Mathematics Institute in 2000. He held the Eisenstein the, the Eisenstadt Chair at Centre de Recherche Mathematique in Montreal in 1991, and the Blaise Pascal International Research Chair in Paris in 2003-2004. He was awarded the Collège de France Medal in 1989 and the National Academy of Science Award in Mathematics in 2004. Uh, over the years, he has given many very prestigious invited addresses, including being twice invited to speak at the International Congress of Ma ma mathematicians. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, in recognition of his outstanding scholarship and contribution to, to, to mathematics, I request that you confer the degree Doctor of Mathematics uh, honoris causa upon Dan Virgil Voiculescu.
Congratulations, Dan. I just have to read this, okay? One minute. <clears throat> I am honored to confer upon you Dan Virgil Voiculescu, the degree of Doctor of Mathematics, honoris causa, and I extend my sincere congratulations. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, Mr. Provost, faculty, parents, guests, graduating class in mathematics. I am deeply honored to receive the degree of Dr. Honoris Causa of the great University of Waterloo and to have the opportunity to address the convocation. I congratulate all who, like me, are receiving here today degrees in mathematics. I am particularly thrilled by the honor, which is a first for me. I have visited several times Waterloo to attend mathematics events that took place at the university. Waterloo University has well-known strength in my field of operator theory and operator algebras, which I may describe to you as a kind of infinite dimensional linear algebra. Also here, one of my particular scientific interests, a very non-commutative probability theory based on operator theory has much benefited from the opportunity of interaction with the great combinatorics at this university. Mathematics Olympiads have a strong tradition in Romania, my native country. So I'm also naturally quite appreciative of the Waterloo strong showing in student mathematics competitions. To share with you some things I've learned over the years as a mathematician, I should start by saying that I was attracted quite early to mathematics and that I knew quite early that I wished to pursue a career in mathematics. On one hand, I had had some success in mathematics Olympiads and on the other, I did not write easily I liked very much music, but had no sense of for the rhythm. And after having had poliomyelitis, I was not tempted to try to become an acrobat. I ought to say, however, that often, and this includes also mathematicians much better than me, people decide later in life to choose mathematics. Though I had dreamed early on of doing research in mathematics, but having mostly textbooks around me as models, I felt somewhat discouraged at times. It was only later, around the usual time at the university, when I was drawn into research by those who were advising me, that I began to feel that I could contribute something and understood what it really meant to do research and to find my path. I saw that it was essential at certain times to work with others, to join in an effort with others, and to be shaped by all one learns from this. Looking back, the doctor's thesis is an initiation to research and completes a chapter of knowing yourself. 
to know yourself, to understand how best to use yourself, what are your strengths and weaknesses, how to manage these, may look at first as a trivial matter. How is it possible not to know yourself? Somewhat surprisingly, perhaps, this is not a trivial matter, and you learn about yourself all the time and spend a substantial part of your life doing so. I often tell the students I advise to understand about their strengths and use weaknesses in mathematics, to try to find ways to improve their mathematical weaknesses and also be aware of the problems on which their strength can be well used. One of the nice things about finding the solution of a problem, about having a new insight in research in mathematics, is that thrill of discovery, a kind of high one experiences. Perhaps some ensuing addiction drives us to continue. I have also learned many times the hard way that the discovery thrill is not necessarily a guarantee that I have really found something, but that the addiction to the thrill makes one try again and not give up so easily. Having said something about the thrill of discovery in solving a mathematics problem and a possible addiction, I should, however, say that some of my best work actually arose from being reasonable. I became interested in a famous open problem about von Neumann algebras, and I tried hard to solve it. The good thing was that seeing I was making no progress, I had the good sense to be more humble and to ask myself whether there was anything useful I could do in the area around the famous open problem. I then saw there were some computations about certain operators which one might wish to streamline and carry out more generally. Thinking about streamlining the computations, I noticed some similarities to what one does in probability theory when one computes the distribution of the sum of two independent random variables. While the famous open problem is still an open problem today, more than 30 years later, the observation I made was the beginning of the development of a new kind of probability theory with highly non-commuting variables, where the Gauss law is replaced by a semicircle. There was also another lesson in all this. I had never thought before that I would have anything to do with probability theory and had done less well in the probability course I took than in other courses. Since then, my views about probability theory have, of course, undergone a radical change, I must admit. I'd like also to say something about simple things. In many ways, simplicity is very important, should not be despised on the contrary. I'm naturally inclined to admire what I don't understand, but I have learned that to do something, I need to use things I understand well and that are simple. It is very fortunate to learn about a way in which something one has perceived as complicated and hard to understand can be transferred to the list of simple and well understood things. I think this refers both to teaching and to research. I love when I am offered a key unsolved question formulated as a simple problem, perhaps the simplest instance of a difficult unknown. One can keep such simple questions in one's mind and think about them while walking, 
dream about them at night. One can also easily communicate them to others and get others interested. I'd like also to say something about choosing problems. On what problems you choose to work when the choice is yours are clearly very important decisions. I once got a tip from Ciprian Foyash, my advisor, which I remember from time to time. I could phrase this as choosing problems being similar to picking stocks for your portfolio. You should then also look for stocks which are undervalued if you can make a good judgment on this. When I was young, I liked mathematics because it offered good opportunities for me. As I get older, I join more those who spend time wondering about mathematics and I'm more convinced that it's kind of a miracle. You have chosen a powerful, wonderful subject to study. Non scole sed vite discimus. We study for life, not for the school, says a Latin proverb. All best wishes on the transition from school to the use of your knowledge in life. Dr. Wojciechowski, thank you for that thoughtful address and welcome to the group of Waterloo's distinguished alumni. <laughs> Would the members of the graduating class please rise? Mr. Chancellor, I present those scholars who have fulfilled the statutory requirements laid by, down by the Senate of the University that they may be admitted to their various and special degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me and in the University, I hereby admit you to your various and several degrees with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Please be seated. Thank you. I now invite Vithausen Jayakumaran to the stage to deliver the valedictory address. Mr. Chancellor, President Hom de Lapour, Dean Golden, faculty and staff, fellow graduates, distinguished guests, family, friends, and loved ones. Congratulations, we did it. After years of hard work, cramming for exams when we should have learned the material weeks before, 4 a.m. nights to finish math assignments, and making many, many sacrifices for our academics, including personal hygiene, healthy eating, and for some of us, the hair on our heads. After facing many challenges and making many personal sacrifices, we did it. It feels like yesterday when we were confused first years, clogging the hallways of the MC building, trying to figure out why MC 2017 is next to MC 2054, and why that whole building smelled so funky in the first place. 
We learned how to use DC++ to download more movies and TV shows than we had time to watch, and we watched them anyways. Parents, I'm just joking, we actually studied the whole time. <laughs> and we voluntarily enrolled in 8.30 a.m. classes because we thought we'd be able to wake up. But look at us now, many terms and several pie days later. We witness the rise and fall of Justin Bieber, Blackberry, and the new couches in the MC Comfy. And after learning so many things from our courses, our co-op terms, and our other experiences in Waterloo, we transformed from confused young adults to accomplished scholars. Some of us will be getting some more education, and some of us will be moving on to the workforce. But each and every one of us is joining a special community of people who have a world-class degree in mathematics from the University of Waterloo. Sometimes it's easy to forget the people who helped us along the way. So to all our profs and TAs who taught us so much over the past few years, to the parents and siblings who who graced us with their love and support when we needed it the most, to the friends and mentors who provided us with guidance and helped us through tough concepts, and to everyone else who supported us in any way, thank you for everything. Nothing can express our gratitude to you more simply and elegantly than I, less than three, you. Graduates, we are about to embark on an adventure like none other. Whether our next step is a new job or further education, we're all trying to find something that we're truly passionate and excited about. Ultimately, we should use what we've developed over these few years, our quantitative skills, our sound logic, and our strong work ethic to make a real lasting impact on the world that we live in. However, at some point in our lives, we may face some challenges or some risky decisions. In the face of uncertainty, a lot of people underestimate themselves and play it safe. Jim Carrey put it best a few weeks ago when he said, so many of us choose our path out of fear, disguised as practicality. It's easy to stay in your comfort zone and do what's familiar. It's easy to avoid risks because we're somewhat okay with where we are in life. And it's easy to avoid trying something new after doing the same thing for years. But, class of 2014, if there's one thing we've learned, from completing one of the toughest programs in the country, it's that the tougher route is way more rewarding than the easier one. And by making it this far, we've already proven to ourselves and to the world around us that we can do anything if we set our minds to it. So if you want to start the next Facebook or big data startup, just do it. If you're, trying, if you're thinking about trying a new job in a field that you're super interested in, just do it. If you want to ask out that pretty girl or that cute guy that you met in first year, just do it. Especially if that guy's me. <laughs> Whenever you find your true passion in life, I challenge you to chase that passion with the same hard work and dedication that you chase your BMath with, and you will definitely find success. Over the past few years, we've learned about some of the most complex things in existence. Linear algebra, triple integrals, combinatorics, graph theory, differential equations, and how to fend off the most annoying geese in existence. If we can do those things, we can do anything. So, graduating class of 2014, if your heart ever tells you to do something that's a little scary, just do it. Thank you. Vithausen, thank you very much for that stimulating address. We have just formally acknowledged the significant achievements of our graduates. And make no mistake, graduates, your achievements have been significant. You have been challenged. You have been stretched. You've invested your time and effort at Waterloo, and if we have done our job proper properly, you will have a significant return of investment once you leave this campus. You have worked hard, 
tirelessly even, to make the financial sacrifices necessary to undertake your education. We hope it has been worth every dollar. However, as I look around today, it is obvious that there are many spouses, partners, grandparents, and special guests who are sharing in the achievement of our graduating class. In this age of online social networking, when connections can be forged far and wide, we should take the opportunity to remind ourselves of the most important social network of all, our families. Graduates, your families have played an important role in your education, from getting you off to a good start at a young age, in some cases helping to finance your education, inspiring you, encouraging you, and consoling you from time to time, especially at exam time. For many of our students, particularly our international students, your families had to travel quite a distance to be with you today. For others, your family members were unable to be here. However, we do feel their presence here today. Graduates, know that we at the University of Waterloo appreciate the family contributions and sacrifices that have been made so that you could study here. And so at this time, I would call upon the parents, grandparents, partners, uncles, aunts, and special guests to please rise. Graduates, please join me in applauding the support that they've given you over the years. Please be seated. Thank you. If you would like to take photographs, you may do so in the area to the left of the podium. Please enter this area by going to the left side of the gym, the back there, down the hallway, and in through the doors. If you approach this area just before your special graduate is about to proceed across the stage, you can take pictures. Once you have taken your photographs, please return to your seat to allow others to take photographs of their graduates. Graduates, please show respect to your colleagues and their guests by returning to your seat after being hooded and remaining there until convocation is adjourned. We will now proceed to the conferring of degrees. I now invite Steve Farino, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Studies of the Faculty of Mathematics to the podium. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Computer Science, St. Jerome's University Honors Program. Christopher Verano. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. I present to you the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Computer Science, St. Jerome's University Honors Cooperative Program. Aaron Kendall Blackmere, Scott Joseph Funkenhauser. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I present the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Mathematics, 
St. Jerome's University General Program. Robert Schluntz, Robert Tier, Eduardo Betty Di Toledo. Mr. Chancellor, I present the candidates. For the degree Bachelor of Mathematics, St. Jerome's University Honors Program. Christian Thompson. Brianna Carolette Bryans, Pei Wen Chen, Natalie Beatrice Camp. Martin Oshwat, James Thomas Rowan, Wang Yu Shu. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I present the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Mathematics, St. Jerome's University Honors Cooperative Program. Colin Brulsema, Heather Ann Inglis, Ian Milligan. Kaolan O'Connell J, Katie Ann Rekop, Arseny Selivanov. Catherine Marie Van Rin. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Tanpreet Singh Gruwal, Sasha Sarush Kugoli, Chao Chi Liu. <laughs> Melissa Mercier, Prashant Patel, Jing Chin. Melissa Pietrina Tardibono. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I present the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Mathematics, University General Cooperative Program. Alexandra Catherine Clark, Shirley Ma. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I present the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Mathematics, University Honors Program. Rahim Abbas Abbasli, Michael Eberhardt, Fasal Ali. Ryan Ali, Sid Marie Alette, 
Wahidula Azimi. Nazifa Wamiya Bari, Zifan B, Alexei Borisov. <laughs> Jing Yi Sai, Wen Chu Sai, Aaron Lee Cash. Mei Hui Chen, Shan Jia Chen, Winfield Chen. <laughs> Kyle Tin Ching Chung, Han Si Chi, Se Ho Chiu. Suzanne Chung, Peter Brandon Datoma, Andrew DeLuca. <laughs> Nyok Lin Do, Kaylee Lynn Donaldson, Andrew Yue Dong. Patrick Dornian, Caitlin DeRoche, Jonathan Peter Drake. <laughs> Zongbo Duan, Yan Ru Fong, Megan Lee Green. Sarah Patricia Harris, Wei Chi Huang, Chitlan Hui. Sean Christopher Sherwood Hunt, Turgut Jabarli, Bashar Jabur. Jie Jiang, Wei Chin, Nari Kim. Jordan Kowalski, Nils Julius Lau, Emily Le Alexis Lane. Duncan Yui Hin Lee, Seong Bin Lee, Christopher Francis Orlando Leonardi. <laughs> Bayer Lee, Si Chu Lee, Jian Liing.
Ling Fang Liu, Wesley Yi Chang Liu, Jonathan K. Liu. Si Fan Liu, Xiao Chi Liu, Ye Chiao Liu. Yun Long. Hao Ma, Sean Alec Martin. Adam Emmanuel Mauskopf. Kimberly Joan McClatchy, Ashley Crystal Moore. <laughs> Mustansir Naim Hussein, Surya Bibi Zena Nazir, Aeon Seok O. Oh. Zara Kamar, Michelle Quach, Nari Ramsawak. <laughs> Wen Chi Rao, Dana Samur, Puja Sarabudla. Justin Shaw, Jeffrey Shu, Artan Jaramisiad. <laughs> Yokesha Siva Yogan, Matthew William Smith, Nandan Srikandaraja. Chun Si Su, Yi Bing Su, Narmin Sultanova. <laughs> Hao Sun, Seifudin Sied, Chong Chun Tan. Jin Tan, Kieran Thomas, Yi Ching Tian. <laughs> Martin Yin Lung Tsang, Philip Daniel Vandervries, Hao Chen Wang.
Hangmu Wang, Yue Wang, Zichang Wang. Jennifer Yilam Wong, Hao Xin Wu, Ji Yu Wu. Chu Wen Xiao, Yu Chan Chie, Bo Wen Shu. Hao Shuan Shu, Mandy Shu, Yan Xin Yan. K U A Bonnie Yung, Shan Yu, Lin Lin Zhang. <laughs> Mu Chen Zhang, Ning Zhang, Shu Xin Zhang. Si Chang Zhang, Xin Yan Zhang, Yi Gong Zhang. Yi Zi Shan Zhang, Su Yi Zhou, Yue Qi Zhu. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. I now invite Dean Goulden to the podium. Mr. Chancellor, I present the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Mathematics, University Honors Cooperative Program. Jason Patrick Abraham, Akil Agrawal, Cassandra, Cassandra Deanne Arsenal. Ryan Munir Barrage, Shiam Baskaran. Lauren Elise Ballet. Sean Jacob Brunsting, Jilin Tsai, Michelle Meredith Cannon. Brenda Karkner, Wayne Chang, 
Hao Chen. Jordan Couture, Derek James Cranshaw, Curtis Dieppe. Gareth Davies. Gareth is also the recipient of the Jesse W. H. Zoe Memorial Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Research. Ian Baird Dimmick. Megan Donnelly. Bradley Stephen Durer. Dana Marie Fink. Eric Fong. Sean Fu. Carolyn Michelle Galvin, Anand Victor Ganeshalingam, Chu Lin Ging. Michael William Hall, Sarah. Ji Yun Han, Wun Yi Han. Dylan Robert Hannison, Yi Meng He, Karina K. Ho. Heather Lynn Homewood, Amzad Hossein, Yang Yang Ho. Ayesha Hussein Boy. Marina Mamdu Ibrahim, Vithushan Jaya Kumaran, Shi Wen Jia, Shua Jiang, Alyssa Jones. Janathan Karan Harharan, Shorya Vardhan Kaushik, Jordan Alexander K. <laughs> Taehyun Kim. Robin Michelle King, Matthew Ryan Koch.
Fernando Manho Ko, Chun Q Lai, Jackie Chun Kit Lam. Christina Lee, Hung Ying Olivia Lee, Jamie Lee. Josiah Lenos, Dean Xiao Chi Li, Ruby Han Li. Sherry Car Man Li. Wei Wei Li, Zhang Yang Li. Zhang Yang Li, Irene Xu Ting Liao, Eric. Lynn. Lynn Lynn. Lily Yi Liu. Julian Jun Yin Lo. Nicole Lomax, Jian Xiang Long, Judith Evelyn Ma. Richard James Mack. Martin Patrick Charles McGill, Suhashini Manoharan. <laughs> Devin Wallace McMillan, Graham Robert McGraw, Tian Yun Niu. He Nguyen, Jennifer Nguyen, Ru Xing Nian. Yo Ming Niu, Jesse Pauly, Cassandra Postma. Yua Chu. Jonathan Check, Ranjani Ravichandran.
Natasha Bandari Seth, Karina Shahani, Nitish Sharma. Sian Min Song, So Yan Song, Sandy Jia Ying Su. Joanne Elizabeth Toporovsky. Andrew Tran, Christopher Andrew Vandemark, Bradley Bastian Van Hofen, Amy Wan. Tom Hong Yu Wan. <laughs> Kathleen Wong, Michael Wong, Xi'an Wong. Xiao Ping Wang, Yi Fei Wang, Ying Wang. Yue Wang, Tu Yi Wing. You, Michael Wing. <laughs> Yun Wing, Remington Bruce Matthew Willenbrecht. Sat upon Wurajwang. Michael Jensen Wong, Fei Jia Wu, Jia Xiao. Cheng Cheng Shu, Raymond Yan, Jie Yun Chia Yang. Jian Zhang Yang, Xian Lu Yang, Corey George Yednorods. <clears throat> Teresa Young, Shinju Yu, D. Yuan.
<clears throat> Joyce Yuan, Jennifer Yuan, Alexander Zabusko. Xi Li Zhang, Ting Ting Zhang, Yang Zhang. Yu Zhang. Xiao Shi Zhao Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. I now invite Yu Ling Li, Associate Dean Graduate Studies to the podium. Mr. Chancellor, I present you the candidates for the degree Master of Mathematics. Zhang Li Chao, Long Ji Guo, Rui Zhen Jing, Ramazee Kerry Beckmas, John Daniel Layden, Catherine Nesmith. <laughs> Mikhail Penine, Daniel Pazazuli, Xin Xiong. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you candidates for the degree Master of Mathematics for Teachers. Arnold Barkert, Stanley Giddies, Ryan Hamlick. <laughs> Jiang Huang, Michael Jacobs. Jennifer Lake. <laughs> Robert Maddock, Sarah Matthews, James Joseph McRoberts. Catherine Ramsey, <laughs> Sheila Rogers, Yuelina Anna Sosnowska. <laughs> I 
Andrea Joy Tykerup, Janice Ruth Titanic. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I present the candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Rasha Jamal. Alexander Shong Yan Sham <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I represent you the recipients of Amit and Nakai Kama Award for Exceptional Teaching by Students. Nancy Catherine Sotiens. Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I now request you to confer in abstentia the various and several degrees upon those candidates who were approved by the Senate but were unable to be present at today's convocation. I confer the degrees in absentia. I now invite Jeff McBoyle, Vice President, Academic Provost, to the podium. The Distinguished Teacher Award was established by the Senate of the University to recognize individuals with a continued record of excellence in teaching at Waterloo. Recipients must be nominated by their students and selected by a committee composing of undergraduate, graduate students, alumni, and faculty members. Mr. Chancellor, I present Levent Cancel. Since joining the Department of Combinatorics and Optimization in 1992, Professor Tonsell has made many outstanding contributions to the development and teaching of optimization courses at all levels and to undergraduate and graduate student supervision. Levent has introduced and redesigned many courses, including Introduction to Optimization, Mathematical Optimization, scheduling, and semi-definite optimization. He excels in graduate student supervision and has also supervised a dozen undergraduate research assistants. Levent has earned a reputation for setting very high standards and demanding the best from his students. He sets the tone by example. Students have praised his incredible work, ethic, and dedication to teaching. They describe him as friendly, enthusiastic, and approachable, and they note his keen sense of humor. They cite his genuine concern about their intellectual development and the valuable advice he provides about graduate studies. As well as being an outstanding teacher and researcher, Professor Tonsell has served terms as the Combinatorics and Optimization Department's Associate Chair of Undergraduate Studies and Associate Chair of Graduate Studies. He also served as two years as the Faculty of Mathematics Associate Dean for Graduate Studies 
and tirelessly advocates for excellence in the faculty's graduate programs. Mr. Chancellor, in recognition of his outstanding achievement in teaching, I ask you to present the Distinguished Teacher Award to Levent Dunsell. I now invite President and Vice-Chancellor Ferdinand Hamdallapur to the podium to address convocation. Thank you, Jeff, and good morning again. What a fabulous event this has been. To see you crossing this stage with a big, great, great big smile, with a lot of confidence, and with a lot of expectation and anticipation. You were all excited. I could feel it in my hands how excited you were. Mr. Chancellor, I think we owe this wonderful class a big round of applause. <laughs> Graduates, You've been through a really great number of years. Um, you've you sat through many, many lectures, so I'm not going to put you through a one last one, and I'm not going to give you a set of <laughs> advices, but I'm going to leave you with a few thoughts I believe uh, will be helpful. You are now joining a very proud family, a family of 169,000 of University of Waterloo graduates who came before you. They are all out there waiting for you. Whatever you do, and you will be doing some exciting things. When I ask you what you're doing next, I am so envious. Some of you saying, I know what I want to do, exactly what I want to do. I'm going to go travel first, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to study further. I have a job waiting. I have started my own startup, and I know what I'm going to do. Fabulous to hear. I hear from some of you that I'm going to go and make a lot of money. I love to hear that. <laughs> I want you to come back and help me to build a nice big convocation hall here, OK? <laughs> but whatever you do, wherever you go, make sure that you're well connected with your 169,000 family members in 145 countries around the world. This is a great big moment. Family members, friends who are, who are with you here, they're anxious to continue the celebration with you. So I'm going to tell you that this is, um, we are very proud of you. You've done an amazing job and congratulations. The world is out there waiting for you. You are the answer to a lot of the challenges and opportunities. Now go change the world, graduates. Congratulations. been an, another inspirational convocation. Now, just before we adjourn, I wanted to say to you, universities unleash talent. We see it all here. But of course, it doesn't happen in a vacuum. You need staff and faculty, so on. Let's give the faculty and staff a nice round of applause, all of them here. Let's take a moment to recognize the fact that you have administration, you have to run this large organization, and Jeff McBoyle is the provo who does that. He's right on my left. Jeff McBoyle. Thank you, Randa. And finally, of course, the leader of the university, the president, whose responsibility it is to run the whole university. Ferdinand Hamdalapur, let's give him a nice round of applause. Ferdinand.
graduates, you are now going on your way. God bless you and all that you do. The convocation is adjourned. Thank you.